<clears throat> Hello Scorpios, how are you doing? Happy Friday to all of you. Alright, this is going to be your reading. If you have not taken a look at my other videos that can, may help, can help you with um, on your journey and help you understand of where you are on the timeline of as of today. So um, just take a look at some of those videos and maybe can help you, you know, understand things better in your situation, okay? But this is a general read. So for the millions and millions of Scorpios across the world, in that case, it might not fit you. And if it doesn't, it's okay, okay? I only give the thoughts of what I receive and, um, and what information comes through, all right? So, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Let's see what your first energy is going to be. And then we're going to take a look at your cross watchers or the person you're thinking about, Scorpio. All right. So, we're in it's for love and career and finances. Anything that comes, okay? If you like a person reading, reach out to me. All right. So, let's get into it. Angel, guys, and spirits, show me the cards. Ooh, okay. <laughs> show me the cards for Scorpio. What's the information? What's the information Scorpio needs to know regarding their energy? Show me Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising energy. Show me Scorpio's energy. That kind of came up in upright. I'm going to leave it there, but it can reverse as always, right? All right, get four more cards for Scorpio and their energy, please. Four more cards. Two, three, and four. One more, please. All right, it's taking a lot. Let me get one more. What's the best card for Scorpio? What's the best card for Scorpio? Okay, so as we know, the story can always change us. It can change energies at any given time, any moment, time and place. Depends on your situation and how it resonates for you and how you feel towards this and what it looks like, okay? So again, it might not resonate for you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, we'll take another reading another day. And I am Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Mars, so uh, please take a look at uh, your charts. All right, Scorpio, you have the Two of Cups, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and you have the Five of Pentacles. You have the Six of Cups in reverse. Um, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Death card in reverse. That's the only thing I'm concerned of here. Um, you could be dealing with another Scorpio, but, um, but here it does look like that. There's a decision of your your relationship or who you are here that you lost kind of passion for this you know it was a difficult decision nonetheless okay it was very difficult um you're still processing it with the two of ones in reverse you're still processing um and still you know wondering you know about things so that means you're processing okay and the queen of wands here you just kind of fizzled out the passion you can kind of feel in that detachment you're feeling that energy leaving you that you're not holding on to anymore with the five of pentacles you're just saying i i gotta give up on this idea there's no hope for this and you're not you don't even really want this person and this is kind of like a similar video i did yesterday but it is very saying that the six of cups is reversed you're like okay no um you know no commitment i don't want i'm recovering from this um energy that brought me down the energy that kind of made me feel bad energy that kind of took away my happiness took away my you know energy where you went into this relationship feeling this was going to be it right this was going to be the person for you this is going to be the end of it i don't have to deal with no one else and so forth but this person disappointed you and it, it, it came it came just like as a surprise like you just couldn't believe it like wow this person really can do this to me <coughs> or did this to me so that's the part you're kind of still hasn't gotten over yet with this heartbreak three of swords they could have had you in a third party <coughs> and so with this transformation you're still just still in kind of like 
all, you know, like, all about it. Like, well, I can't believe this person actually did this to me. And <coughs> it took me for granted like that. And the person that I didn't want is the person this person turned into that showed you that who they are. So, but you, you really come into terms with this, that this person is no longer welcome in your life. You're getting over this day by day. Um, you are still in the transformation. There's the Two of Cups. Yeah, I do feel like here you are still healing. As I said, you're still in the process of healing. You are in that process of processing your thinking, processing this connection that happened. But now you don't have any hope in it anymore. You're just like, okay, well, why would someone that loved me would do me like that, right? Now... Um, you might still be checking your phone to check and sometimes if they message you, you might be checking your block messages, things like that. Um, they could just still be in your energy. But I do feel slowly this is almost dead. This this relationship is feelings are dead. So with that transformation card there, okay, with a Scorpio card. So let's look at the cross watchers energy. Now that's how you're feeling, Scorpio. You're just like nah. I'm gonna pass. Um, you're just really doing very well right now. It feels like you are doing very well in the process of healing and getting on with your life. And as hard as it is, which is something on this energy, you really realize this person was not even for you. You at one time you you would have done anything for this person. Now you wouldn't even you wouldn't do nothing for them. Okay. So let me ask about your person or finances, career, whatever we see, okay? All right. So Scorpio, this is for Scorpio centers. Show me the energy that is for the cross watcher watching for Scorpio. Cross watcher watching for Scorpio or angels, the person that's thinking of Scorpio. Show me that cards for Scorpio. Their energy is a little different than yours already <laughs> with the Ten of Cups. So show me the cards for the cross watcher or show me the energy for the person thinking of Scorpio. Show me the energy. Now I bring you readings as much as I can. So don't forget to give me that like right now that shows the love, show the kindness. Um, yeah, so. Energy for Scorpio's person or the cross watcher. What is the energy with the Ace of Cups? What is the energy for the Ace of Cups? Mm -hmm. Okay. For the lover's card and the nine of wands. That's a connecting energy. You're feeling pretty good on your energy, Scorpio. You're just kind of still, it still kind of like irritates you that this person, and you can feel their energy. You can kind of feel them kind of, they're doing the kind of same thing to you. Uh, one more for Scorpio. Why is this energy of the not the wands? Alright. I'm going to put it in the upright. They're, they're still in their energy. Want to come towards you. They are healing this as well. So, their energy is when they left you in this situation, they they weren't speaking to you they went ice cold on you and they kind of stopped talking to you they just said you know there was no change there was no the way they were looking at it it's like i don't have to do what scorpio wants me to do scorpio can go her way or his way scorpio can go do whatever he want to and that's the kind of way they were thinking that they didn't show that love they didn't show the communication and it showed the changes that were needed but as we move along, Scorpio, they, they got into this mindset of Ten of Cups and so many. They're like, why can't I forget Scorpio? What? You know, they feel your energy as well here. So they are reflecting on 
the feelings they have with you and the happy times and what they could have what could have should have done and what could have been with you that's the part that they're kind of you know thinking about um they know they came in and played with your mind they play with your heart and now or they actually think you're the player they think that you had other options you had other people and so they made they became like you know they didn't know how to react on the nine of ones because you have the eight of ones and nine of ones over here in between this relationship they just said okay well um they know they kind of did you dirty here right so they knew but after that you kind of put your guard up and you said that you're not dealing with them anymore because they know you they had your trust and that's the hardest part um they broke your trust and this is the part they're trying to win it back in a way of they think that as long as they stay gone um for a while you're gonna miss them and then when they call you or message you or try to get in touch with you you're just going to be okay forgotten about all the bad times that's what i feel with the three of pentacles here and the king of swords this person does like to talk but and they have that humor but at the same time they didn't show effort towards you so now they're paying the price of what they did but they paid the price they feel like you know there's a lot of pain here so they are starting to, to feel like on my other video they are suffering this consequences of what they did to you and that's what it is and but they they saying okay well you know to make them feel better they want to bring back that cup of love or the knight of swords want to communicate get better and to heal this right they're just kind of saying well let me try to heal this uh, but they're trying to do it on their own without contacting you they're kind of doing what you're doing scorpio but the difference is you're just kind of over it where they're still hoping that somewhere in the realm of things things will change down the road okay anything else for this person to clarify this person's behavior what's their actions towards scorpio what's their actions towards scorpio what's their actions so you are kind of like moving on your way you know you're just not tolerating any more nonsense and but they're just still thinking that you know you should chase them but they're going to have to end up chasing you because they didn't ever chase you that they may have done it in the beginning but then it fizzled out so now they're not seeing you coming towards them bringing love to them so they're going to have to make a move okay so, but they, but on your end, yeah, so they think they can be successful again because they know you had a lot of love for them and that they think that, you know, if they just come back towards you, they can work this out with you. They do feel like you might have someone else or someone's, they, they pretty sure feel, you know, they got to do something quick here because they lost your love. They lost the feelings. Um, they lost, the, but they feel like you're still kind of, I don't know i feel like they are thinking you're still holding on to them but you're really not <laughs> it's just their imagination that you're holding on to them but um but they know it's getting kind of a long time they're like i'm just waiting it's almost like they're sitting there with their phone waiting for you to message and reach out to them they're like yeah see scorpio love me if you send that one more text they're going to know that you're still they still can control your heart and mind so let's see what your outcome is going to be, Scorpio, here. I see you being very strong here. Yeah, you're not putting up with no nonsense of being part of nobody's third party, that's for sure. You're not going to fight for this with a five of wands. There's a death, death card. Okay, I'm just going to take that one because it flipped over, but you are going to transform this into a better thing. Why is the pinnacle here for the ace? You might be making good money here. You're on your way to making good things with the Princess of Cups. You're like, I'm not giving out my love to nobody. I, I'm staying single like a Pringle. Yeah, the hangman. So why is the hangman here for Scorpio? You're just you're just still working on that processing of the breakup, which is normal. Alright, so there you are. You're still processing. You're still putting you still think about it from time to time, but it's not as bad as it used to be. You're just getting in this comfort zone. 
you have the nine of cups here you're like okay you might come with me at the nine of cups but i don't want your love i don't i don't need it and i don't want it because if they do you want to give them the tower moment here because you're tired of the bs and the lies and the illusions and the lies here so you're really following your heart here and following your feelings with the high priestess but that's what i have for you scorpio i do feel like if this person comes back it's like okay what do you want I don't want to talk to you. Even if you did say a word to him, that's probably going to be the behavior from you. Like, what do you want? What do you need? Now, why are you calling me? What's up? Yet, yeah, do you remember what you did to me? I mean, you're going to have this attitude and you're just going to cut it off because you're not going to tolerate it. But you are thinking about this because you're thinking about, you know, you had your heart open when you met this person and you were looking for true love and true true destiny with someone to build a life with and you explained all this and and you told them what you wanted but they turned around and showed you the person that they were not they they pretended to be the person that you wanted but reality so you could have been dealing with a narcissistic person or someone who is um avoided type not toxic type individual but you you woke up and you saw that but you're now you know, so you're following your feelings for sure. You're following your mindset. You're following, you're like, I'm not dealing with no illusions. Gaslighting. This person was gaslighting you really badly and lying to you and manipulating, you know, doing all the things. And that's why you caught on to it and you saw what the, you saw through the fake mask. And that's what brought that tower moment because you followed the intuition. Everything was showing you the direction what was going on even you know that's the thing scorpios are like you know spirit very spiritual people so if you cross a scorpio they can feel everything you know it's almost like god sends them the message here with a high priestess of what is going on what's happening you don't even have to be there just the message you get so be very strong in your intuition keep that strong and it will protect you in the towers okay so the tower moments are good good times are good things because it can protect you and in, in not messing up or wasting more time of your life for with the wrong people so that's what i have for you scorpio that's the message i'm sending you be glad that you got away from this fake person um but they're they're wishing for you back but i know that your answer is no <laughs> you know so anyway, Scorpio, I know you're still processed, you're still healing. Keep going, keep ho holding your head up, keep reaching for the stars, your dreams will come true, and you will, you will discover in time, in time to come that this was the best thing for you, even though you can't might not see it now. So anyway, send in love and light, give me that thumbs up. If you'd like a personal reading, reach out to me in the description box, and I would love to see you face to face, and I would love to talk to you and help you on your journey to make you feel better to give you awareness and and support you all right send in love light take care scorpios bye-bye